Welcome to the United Stand, Manchester United versus Burnley, 3 o'clock on Saturday. What a novelty that is. We're right at the end of October, the season started in the middle of August, and this is the first untelevised in the UK United game, which just shows papers sell, that's why everybody wants to know about United, everyone wants to watch United, we are number one, no matter what happens. But this game... What's this game about? How would I line up for it? Very, very easy. Get commenting below if you disagree. I'm not changing much. I'm not changing much. I said that Burnley, uh, City, Wednesday night, win the game, take the confidence to start building from that 4-0 loss to Chelsea, which we certainly did in the second half um, at Old Trafford against City. So I wouldn't be making any changes. And I've, I've said this a few times now, and I'll repeat it. Consistently play Herrera, Mata and Carrick between now and Christmas. And do not play Fellaini. Don't let him near the team. And I guarantee you, by Christmas, we will be challenging for the title. Will he do it? I don't know. I mean, I've got a funny feeling. Carrick doesn't seem to play in the league. Uh, he's it, it, it's statastic, I suppose. But matter when he plays, we're up around 80% winning games and 20% and not winning games when, when he doesn't, obviously. The same with Carrick. It's even higher. Play Carrick in the defensive midfield position. Play matter. And then play Herrera. I, I mean, I, I don't agree with Mata being a right-sided midfielder, but you've got to get... He's not going to drop Pogba, is he? And I think Mata, Herrera and Carrick are way more important than anybody in our team in an attacking sense at the moment. Even more important than Zlatan or Pogba or whoever he plays on the left. I mean, they're important players and hopefully their form will improve. But it's not going to improve if they haven't got Carrick dictating things, Herrera biting and passionately giving a damn. And Mata is just, he's a stat man and, 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 he, and he just gives us that je ne sais quoi, um, you know, the seasoning on top of the din dinner, taking it from ordinary to extraordinary. They've got to play. So my lineup, De Gea in goal, Valencia right back, Luke Shaw left back. I would personally play Blind and Smalling because it's balanced. And I don't think Smalling should be thrown to the Wolves because of that horrible performance against Chelsea. I think he can come back for that. And I'd rather have Smalling than Rojo any day. I know Rojo played well against City. And I've seen a lot of comments on Twitter saying, why aren't you giving Rojo any credit? Well, because he's been terminally awful for the last two years. And one sunny day doesn't make a summer. And he will cost us points. So I'd rather have Smalling. Carrick Amker in the midfield. Herrera and Pogba there with him. Zlatan up front. Um, Rashford on the left, Mata on the right. And I would have Mkhitaryan and Martial on the bench. This is Burnley. No matter what season it is, what form, I totally agree that you should always respect your opposition in the Premier League because you can, you know, you can stick your nose and get in, in a beehive and get stung. But any season, United should be beating Burnley at home. That's what we should aspire to be doing. That's what we should be doing. That's what I think we will do. And I think anything less than that is going to be a real kick to the nuts. We've got to win this game. I expect us to win this game. I don't think we're going to thrash them. I'm going to go 2-0. Keep another clean sheet. Nick a goal the other end or a couple of goals. Win it 2-0. Confidence builder. We go into Zoya, isn't it, next Thursday? Don't really care about that. But then Swansea away next Sunday before the next international break. We need six points from these next three get two games. I'm not going to get, oh, well, we've got to get it, this, that and the other. Let's take it a game at a time. We, like, we did with City the other night. Burnley at the weekend. Go into it. Win it. We move to the next challenge. Compartmentalise. Look at the game. Take it ahead and, and produce the result. Get the three points. But he's got to play Carrick. He's got to play Herrera. And he's got to play Mata. Will he do it? Over to you. You know what? I don't think he will. I don't think he will. I said this on the watch along the other night. It seems to be United for the last couple of years especially... You, you almost feel beaten when the team lineup comes up. You know, no Mkhitaryan of the other night, or weird selections. Got to play Carrick. If Fellaini's in that team again, I don't know what I'm going to do because I think he will get in the team again. But how many chances are we going to give him? How many times is he going to infiltrate and sabotage our United side? He should never be in the. He should. They should have been sold in the summer. He should be never given an opportunity again. He was awful um, against Chelsea. Even Gary Neville said it. He should not be anywhere near the team. But I've got a funny feeling he won't play Carrick. And then are we going to be stuck with Fellaini again? I just don't know. He might play Herrera, Mata and Pogba and have a right midfielder in Lingard. I wouldn't be too bothered about that. But I do think Carrick has to play. And Fellaini nowhere near it. Thanks everybody for watching. Get commenting below. Lots to get involved in this per usual. And that's what it's all about. Um, we will be live with the watch along at 2 o'clock on Saturday afternoon with the team news. And right the way through the game. And obviously, don't, do, do, do. Don't say don't. Do join us live straight after matches now for call, Skype, Goldbridge, whatever you want to call it, where you can phone in, 
via Skype and have your say straight after a game. We did it last night for the City game. It was brilliant and it will get better with more and more of you getting involved. So get involved with the channel. It is the United Stand. It's your voice that matters. Get commenting below. I'll speak to you all very soon.